Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anna520, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we uh, brought our statue down from the eighth floor of the Temple of Time and returned, to, returned it to its place by the threshold to the final boss, or the bo final boss, the boss of the dungeon. And in doing so, we also got all the stuff that we missed on the way back, on the way up. And now, we're about to fight the boss. Because I ran out of time in the last episode, because I had to go back up, because I forgot a room. But anyway. Into the darkness. Oh wow, it's really dark in here. It's a very large statue you got there, huh? Um. Oh! Toilet Arachnid Armogoma. Alrighty, so. Armogoma is going to wander around on the ceiling. And eventually we'll stop one of these light fixtures, at which point we need to shoot her eye. She's above me, isn't she? Ooh, this one's gonna get a big warning. Gotcha. She's gonna fall off the ceiling, and then we need to come over here, control one of these giant statues, and give her the old smackdown. At which point she'll wander away. Climb back up on the wall. And wander around the ceiling some more. I get a feeling this video is not going to get very many views. Oh no! It's laying eggs! Oh goodness. Get rid of these things. How would you stop and uh, do your laser attack? There we go. I missed. There we go. On the floor. Smack. Now, if uh, memory serves me correctly, if you... Oh, and these are dropping one arrows, by the way. If memory serves me correctly, um... Uh, whenever... Um... Uh, you're controlling one of these statues, you can hit yourself, and I believe if you... I believe if you hit yourself with one of these giant statues, it'll instantly take away all your hearts. Ouch. Don't do that. Bruh. Okay, wait for you to find another spot. Unless you're gonna make more babies. Please don't make more babies. Just wander around until you find a good spot. And Start firing your laser. There we go. Gotcha. Splat. Well, that was pretty easy. It was only three splats. Oh. What? What? Um, what? Huh. What is this? This is not a boss. This is, this is a Looney Tunes cartoon.
Are you laying more of those? Hold on. Let me just, just pre-aim this. Stop. There we go. Here we go, Shard the Third. Three of the mirror shards are ours. There's one left. Link. You saw how nasty that monster was, right? The evil within the shards is more powerful than you can imagine. You know, we might be assembling something truly terrible here. It could be something that we'll ultimately have to destroy. We have to hurry. Let's find the last shard, Link. We have to reach the sky. That's where the last shard is supposed to be. Well, let me grab this real quick. Where is it? Where, 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 where? There it is. Gotcha. Work container. Yep, we're good. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'll save. Here. Cool. Now then. On the way out, you might notice these two owl statues also have a hole in them for the, uh, whoa, hi, how you doing? For the Dominion Rod. Come back here. Give me that. Mine. And if we come in here, you might remember in the future, or the present, I should say, there's a broken chest in this room. Well, if you come in here in the past, the chest is intact, and it contains a piece of heart. Well, we've earned another... Almost all the pose, or half of them anyway. Let's head back to the present. Well done, adventurer. Uku sees what she was looking for. Goodness, yes, it's the Dominion Rod you found in the temple. But that thing has been around for quite some time. I can see from here that its magic has been exhausted. Oh, what am I to... I thought at last I could return to the sky. And I've completely forgotten the spell that would once again bestow it with magic. It can't be helped. I suppose I'll just have to look for the statues that respond to the rod. It's decided. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do indeed. Well, Uku is on her way. See you again. Um. Bye. Hey, wait! What did you do to the Dominion Rod? She's gone. I suppose a useless rod is really more, just more baggage, but what are you going to do? Hmm. Did she just say something about returning to the sky? That last piece of the mirror is also said to be in the heavens. If we can restore magic to the Dominion Rod, maybe it'll come in handy. Yes, yes indeed. So... You'll notice that the Dominion Rod in my inventory now has turned rust-colored. It's completely useless now. 
it only works in the past. For now. But, let's, uh, warp out of here. Because I just so happen to know exactly where we need to go. However, we should probably go see... Helma. In fact, I think if we try to cross the bridge into Hyrule Castle Town, the postman's going to show up and summon us. We can also turn in our... stuff, our bugs. Human time. Alrighty. Hey. Mr. Link, wait! <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Link. I've come to deliver a letter. It is a letter from Renato. <laughs> well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. Alright, well, what does the Chieftain have to say? Uh, about Ilya's memory. Link, there is something about Ilya's memory that I wish to tell you. I know you are busy, but please come visit me in my sanctuary in Kakariko Village. Alrighty then. I guess we will do that. Let's go turn in our bugs first, though. We can also stock up on arrows while we're here. See what's going on in old Mallow Mart. Spoiler, nothing. Malomar is concluded. I don't think it's actually possible to buy anything from the store that's here before Malomar. It's literally impossible to accumulate enough rupees because the max size of the wallet is not enough. Hello, good, my good sir. I would like to buy some arrows. Could I request that you stop making that noise? Alrighty. So, we got arrows. Ten arrows for five rupees is really, really good. Anyway, uh, let's see. Um, I think if we come down here to speak with Telma, or not speak with Telma specifically, but check the map in here, we'll find out where our next location is. And I think it's going to show us that we actually have to go to Kakariko Village anyway. Chad is in Kakariga Village now. Would you check on the children if you head that way, Link? Yes. Yes, indeed, I can do that. So it's Chad's turn. We're gonna warp to Kakariga Village. Oh, hello, Epona. I forgot this is where I parked you. Alright. Let's see what the old shaman has for us. Oh, it's Gorkoron and Darvis. Ah, I've been waiting for you, Link. Wait a minute. Yeah. Fortunes has smiled upon us. If things go well, we should be able to help Ilya recover her memory. Do you know Telma's friend Shad? Well, it seems he's researching the heavens, and he has come here to see the statue in the basement of the sanctuary. 
And as I've learned, when Ilya was saved, she overheard someone talking about the Rod of the Heavens or something like that. The Goron Elder believes that to be help The Goron Elder believes that to help her regain her lost memories, we must piece together the fragments of her past. Which means if we work our way backward from the very place where she lost her memory, we may find something that will restore it. Now we must retrace Ilya's path. I am certain that it was Telma who cared for her before she arrived in this village, was it not? It would be best to speak with her first. Please take this to Telma. You got Renato's letter. It carefully details how to treat Ilya to get her memory back. Why does your envelope have wings? It shames me to say it, but to be honest, I cannot abide Telma's company. Mm. We have a fighting chance, Link. Mm hmm. Well, let's go speak with Shad real quick. if we can, anyway. Shad is down here inspecting this statue. Oh my, color me surprised, if it isn't Link. What a coincidence meeting you in a place like this, how very odd. Say, old boy, do you remember what I told you before about the legend of the sky beings known as the Uka? Yes, well, there's something about it that's been bothering me, so I came here to snoop about. To think you would appear here with such perfect timing, you really are an exception, rather exce extraordinary fellow, aren't you? I found it at last. Observe this statue. It's the same as the one in the manuscripts my dear father left me. There are many similar statues around Hyrule, but this one seems to be different. Here, look at the belly. There's something written there, you see? This too was in my father's notes. It is called Skywriting, I believe. Awaken us with the word that breaks the seal. Yes, indeed, that is what it says. Wait a moment, isn't that Ilya a friend of yours? It's simply tragic how she's lost her memory. And that rod of the heavens she mentioned. I'm sure it has something to do with the word that breaks the seal. Hmm, isn't, isn't there any way to restore her memory? I'm certain it would help us figure this all out. Uh-huh. Well, we gotta go do that first, I guess. Let me come over here behind the wall. What do you mean I would scare somebody? Nobody can see me! Who's gonna see me? You? You're not looking at me. Bruh. I I have to leave the basement. Get me out of this house. first, apparently. Quit railroading me. Alright, let's get over here to Castletown. Transform into a human. Back into town we go. Take the shortcut past the star thing. We still can't do anything with star at the moment. Come over here. Cut across. Down here. Back into the bar. Helma, I need to speak with you about... Oh. Well, I guess this is what goes here. Ooh. Well, if it isn't for Minato, the shaman. All this writing and he doesn't bother to mention a thing about little old me. Honey, that is what I call rude. Well, there's no accounting for the foolishness of a man. And at least I understand Ilya's situation now. Of course I can lend a hand for that adorable little girl. Hmm. What else do I know? The first one to bring Ilya to this shop was that doctor. Maybe he knows something, but he's a crusty old bat, that's for sure. 
Ah, I've got it. Honey, you go ahead and take this to him. This magic little paper will get that codger talking. You've got the invoice. This invoice is for the town doctor's running tab, which is an astronomical sum. It sure would be nice if she started remembering things soon, eh, Link? Well then. <laughs> Bar tab, huh? He thinks the doctor has been hitting the sauce a little too hard. Well, it's a good thing we know where the doctor's office is. Take a shortcut through here. Meow. Here are the kitties. Can I go in here? I cannot. In fact, I think the only building I'm able to enter on this side is the doctor's office. Oh, there's a puppy behind me. <laughs> eh? What's that? Just as I wondered who it might be, I see it's the admirable young lad who was willing to help the Zord boy for nary a single rupee. Just what is it you want, lad? A physical? You have some money, don't you? By the way, that girl Ilya didn't mention anything about me, did she? can't pay this off right now. I can see Telma's hired you as some sort of heavy to strong army, but you'll have to wait. Look, lad, if I, I'd been able to sell that, sell the wooden statue that young lady had, I would have been able to get the money. But see, I accidentally spilled medicine all over that little carving, which made it stink awfully. I put it outside to dry, but then, well, it was stolen. Who goes around stealing people's stuff like that? What a world. You always have to be on guard, eh? Uh, look, Mr. Heavy, at any rate, neither the money nor the carving is here, so I can't repay you. Now to work, to work. Uh-huh. What are you doing in here with these poor frogs? Well, let's, uh, take a peek over here. If we use our senses, you might see there's a... Thingy on the wall here. So if we push this over, we can see the medicine that was spilled. Forget the reek fish scent and learn a new smell? Yes, please. You learned the medicine scent. Now, where did the medicine scent go? Up and out, apparently. Pardon me, pardon me. Coming through. Wolf on a mission. The pupper. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Through here, through here. Back from here. Luis. You're looking for the wooden statue that Ilya had, aren't you, dear? Think it's a coincidence that I happen to know it got stolen from the doctor's place? No. Yes, I'll admit it. I took it. Then I was attacked by some sort of skeletal dog beast who took it from me. I don't know why those beasts were after her statue. I thought it was likely that she was in a dangerous spot, though. Those fiends lurked just outside the southern gate. Unfortunately, they only come out at night. And another thing. They always move around in a, as a pack. You won't get that statue back unless you give them all a thrashing. That statue sounds like a key to getting Ilya's memory back. You must get it back. Yes, ma'am. Look out. Coming through. So, out the southern gate, we must wait for nightfall. So that we can get the uh, statues. So the stall wolves are out here. Oh, also, um, hang on a minute. This path is now open. Oh, 
Hey, look, brother. The way is now clear, just as I promised. I do not know where you are headed, but be careful. Is this going to go instantly into a transition? Probably. So I'm going to stay here. Because I need to fight some beasties. It's turning night pretty quickly. Why is there a hole? There's a crevice here. Hmm, we're gonna have to come back here later. Get an item. Come over here, transform into a wolf. Because those beasts are going to be here any second now. And it's turning night. What is that? Oh, you can look out over uh, Lake Hylia from here. That's the bridge. I wonder if I drop down there, I would end up going to Lake Hylia. I think I'll check that as soon as we're done here. Are you a plant? You are a plant. And now you're not. Give me those seeds. Come on, hurry up, knight. Hurry up. Anything around here? Anything to dig? Any dig spots? Oh, don't fall down the hole. I don't know if there are any dig spots over here. Come on, hurry up, knight. Oh, here they come. got the wooden statue. This oddly shaped statue is said to have once belonged to Ilya. It might be a clue that will help Ilya get her memory back. Set it to Y, X, or R. Get the rupees. Can I just warp? Yes. Hello, Lupona. Alright. I got something. I has a clue. I think. I has a clue. Ilya? Is this? I I remember something. I was confined somewhere. Yes, and I was saved by whoever was confined with me. And when that person set me free, they gave me this statue. Yes, yes, I remember that much. But that means that person is still in trouble. Oh, what is wrong with me? I can't remember where that place it was. Ooh. I remember. I thought I had seen that before somewhere. That belonged to the tribe that protected the Hylian royal family long ago. They worked in secret, so they lived in a lonely, forgotten place. But I heard that tribe dwindled in the prolonged wars. If you want to find that hidden village, look for a path leading to the Lanayru province on the far side of the Bridge of Elden. But a rock slide brought, blocked the way to the village long ago, so you can't get there anymore. <laughs> what? Oh, I do not mean to worry you, little human. Problems like these are not problems to Gorons. <laughs> Our Patriarch Jarvis will be waiting for you up ahead. 
Look at your map to see where. I will try to find the path beyond the Bridge of Elden that leads to Lanayru Province. Yes, yes. Well, we're all out of time. So next time in The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we are going to go investigate this location and see if we can't f help whoever was trapped with Ilya in those days long past. Till then, this is Anna520, signing out.